Good day! Welcome to our lesson for today. Our lesson for today is all about solid figures. Let's try to understand what solid figure is all about. And let's try to remember your previous lesson in grade 5, okay? So to begin with our lesson this morning, let's read first our objectives. We have four objectives in our lesson for today. Number one, visualize different solid figures. Number two, describe and differentiate the different solid figures from plain figures. So we're going to um, differentiate the solid figure and the plain figure so that you will be able to know that this figure is a plain one and this figure is a solid figure okay number three draw a geometric figure so during this lesson you're going to draw using the different kinds of lines angles and different kinds of shape for you to create a particular or a certain solid figure okay number four relate the different solid figures to real architectural designs and structure so you will be asked later on about different designs that you see outside you see in the internet or anything that you see at home or inside the school and try to relate it to whatever solid figure that is similar okay so are you ready let's begin I have here a pictures to show to you and please tell me what kind of solid figure these pictures similar to. Okay? Are you ready? So I have here five pictures to show. I will give you 20 seconds to name the solid figure which is similar to these pictures. Let's begin. Timer starts now. What am I? 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 You know, what is a solid figure? A solid figure is a three-dimensional figure with thickness. It has three dimensions, namely the length, the width, and the height. So take note, in a solid figure, you are going to find and identify the length, the width, and height because it is a figure that has three dimensions. Okay, let's have an example. Number one, cube. Okay, have you seen a cube? Okay, this is an example of a cube. This is a Rubik's Cube and this is a wooden cube. Okay, what do you notice? The two has six similar congruent sides or faces. Okay. So, in other words, all sides, all faces are congruent, which means they have the same shape, size, and measure. Okay? That is what we mean by congruent. Next example, we have the cone. Do you see a cone? Yes. So, we see a cone every time we eat an ice cream. But I have here a wooden example of a cone. This is a cone. Okay? How many circular bases are there? Correct. It's only one circular basis. Or one circular base. And what do you observe with the body? The body is also in a circular form. Okay? So what do you call the solid figure again? Yes, this is solely, uh, this is cone. Okay, next. It's sphere. What is a sphere? Have you seen a sphere? Yes. Anything that is circular in shape or anything that is round. So any object that is round, like ball, 
globe, balloons. Those are example of sphere. Now, I have here a wooden ball. So, this is an example of a sphere. Now, take note, a sphere has no length, width, and height because the shape is round. So, you cannot find the height, the width, and the length in this solid figure. Again, what solid figure is this? Yes, this is a sphere. Next example is pyramid. Now, pyramid has different kinds. You can name the pyramid according to its base. Okay, number one. What is the shape of the base of this pyramid? Correct, this is triangle. So therefore, the name of this pyramid is triangular pyramid. Now, okay, I have another one. This is another pyramid, okay? But let's try to identify the base. What is the shape of the base? Very good. This is a rectangle. So, therefore, the name of this pyramid is rectangular pyramid, okay? Now, take note. How many faces are there in this pyramid? Correct. It has four faces. So, you have one, two, three, four. All right. Now notice in this type of pyramid, how many sides are faces that are equally the same or sides that are congruent? Okay. There are two congruent sides or two congruent faces only. Why? Because the base is in rectangular shape. Now take note, you have only two congruent sides in this shape. The back and the front are congruent, the right and the left are congruent, okay? Now, let's go to vertices or vertex. How many vertex are there? When you say vertex, the lines that meet together and create a corner. So, you have one, two, three, four, five, okay? So, there are five vertices in a rectangular pyramid. Now, what about the edge? How many edges are there? So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many edges? There are eight edges in a rectangular pyramid. Okay. Next, are you still following? Very good. What kind of pyramid is this? Look at the base. This is a square. Very good. So, a square, since this is a square, all sides of a square are equally the same, are congruent. So, therefore, we can say that all sides of this square pyramid are also congruent. They are also totally the same in size, in shape, in measure, okay? So, let's proceed now to find the vertices. How many vertices are there? One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, five vertices. What about the edges or edge? You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight edges in a square pyramid. The same with the rectangular pyramid. Okay, so the only difference is that in a square pyramid, all sides are congruent, while rectangular pyramid, only two sides are totally the same, equally the same, or congruent, okay? Next, oh, uh huh. what about this one? This is what we call a cylinder. A cylinder has two circular base, okay? The top and the bottom, and as you observe, the body is also in a circular shape, correct? Okay, next. What about this one? What shape is this? Rectangle, very good. So therefore, this is a rectangular prism, okay? Now, in a rectangular prism, there are how many sides or faces? Let's count. 
you have one, two, three, four, five, six. How many faces? There are six faces, okay? Now, as you notice, how many faces or how many sides are congruent or totally the same in measure and in size? There are three congruent sides, okay? What are they? We have the bottom, uh, sorry, we have the top and bottom, one. We have the back and the front, two. Then we have the left and the right, three. So therefore, the congruent faces of a rectangular prism are three sides or three faces. So I have here another example. Look at this one. What shape is this? Or what solid figure is this? This is a rectangular prism. Very good. Now notice, what is the difference of this rectangular prism with this rectangular prism? The difference is that here, all sides are, the four sides are equally or equally the same or shall we say congruent save to the plane figure what is a plane figure everybody read a plane figure is a two dimensional shape this figure is flat take note it has two dimensions the length and the width now let's try to go back to the solid figure dimensions are length width and height while in plane figures you only have length and width but no thickness okay let's try to explain that later now what are the examples so i have here some examples i want to show you some examples okay so this one can you see this what shape is this very good this is a rectangle so when we talk about of uh, no thickness a plain figure has no thickness meaning to say this is flat simply flat not unlike this one, it has thickness. Makapal siya. Samantala ito, hindi. Manipis. Flat lang siya. Okay? Now, squares. So, I have here an example of a square. Okay, this is a square. You can... You can say that this is a square because it has the same measure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So therefore, all sides are congruent. So this is now the length and this is the width. It has only two dimensions. What about this one? This is a yeah, circle. A flat object. A plain figure. Okay? So, in this shape, you cannot find the length and you cannot find the width, okay? You have different term to be used in uh, measuring a circle, okay? Now, let's try to recall the previous lessons. Let's try if you can still remember this one. What about this shape? Yes, this is a... It starts with the T. Very good. Trapezoid. Another plane figure. A trapezoid. Okay. Next. What about this one? Mm -hmm. This is not a trapezoid. Yes. It seems, it looks like a rectangle, but it's not a rectangle. So the name of this plane figure is a parallelogram okay so these are some example of a plane figure did you understand what is plane figure again a plane figure has two dimensions while the solid figure has three dimensions is that clear did you understand okay let's proceed now to our first activity all right for your activity one look at the images on the pic or the picture List down the name of an object which are solid figures and plane figures. What you are going to do, 
group them together. So you have there the group for solid figures and the group for plain figures. I will give you 60 seconds to write the names of the object. Okay, timer starts now. Okay, congratulations. You have done your best. And your answers are correct, as I can see it in your activity one. And now, I have here some pictures, okay? Try to look at the first picture. What image do you see in the first picture? Yes. It's a fat boy or fat man. What is that fat man holding? Correct, a giant burger. What does this giant burger similar to when we talk about a solid figure? Can you name? Very good. That is a cylinder. So the shape of this giant burger is a cylinder. Or oh, similar to a cylinder, sorry. Now, what can you say about the man holding the giant burger? Okay, happy, very good. What else? Chubby, yes. Do you think the man is obese, overweight? Yes. Now, is obesity or overweight a health problem? Yes, very good. Why do you think it's a problem? Because it can give us another health okay health problems like for example can you give me one very good hypertension what else yes about the heart if you are too much fat malamang yung puso mo magkaroon ni maraming taba so the tendency is we suffered from stroke or cardiac arrest so cardiac arrest or stroke are related to hypertension so what will you do with yourself what will you do with your body what kind of food you're going to eat every day mm -hmm. who eats vegetables and fruits are you sure very good if you do that you are in good hands so you are protecting yourselves and you are taking care of yourselves it's important especially today that we are in a pandemic time correct now that you know what is a solid figures all about and what are some examples of solid figures and you also have learned about the plane figure and you're able to name some of the plane figures during our discussion I hope that you can now answer and figure out the different kinds of solid figures in your module. Okay, see you next time. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel.